Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm Sarah. And I'm Neva. And we are here to tell you a little bit about how you can use the Tableau Vivant activity uh, that you can find in your Shakespeare Set Free Toolkit. Now, in your toolkit, you will find this handy dandy flash drive. And in your flash drive, there is a, some video examples of what to do, um, use this activity. And it is in the Romeo and Juliet section of Shakespeare Set Free, Lesson 14. Tableau vivant is basically just a fancy word for living pictures. So what the activity is is that students physically get up and create pictures with their bodies to represent what's happening in the scene while speaking chosen lines from the scene. Now the reason I like to use Tableau vivant is because it encourages close reading of the text. The students aren't able to use the whole text, so they have to pick specific lines that are most important of the scene. It also gets students actually up and performing in a way that's a little bit lower pressure than actually having to read through an entire scene and speak all of the words. So they work together to figure out their lines and they figure out movements and all of a sudden, a living picture. You can see another video of the Tableau by going to your flash drive. Click on the icon and go down to videos. Once in videos, look at Tableau Vivant. Press play and you're good to go. Thou wretched boy that didst consort him here? This will determine that. So, how else do you think we could use this in our classrooms other than just in um, the way that it's found in the book? I personally love my poetry unit and I think this, this would put me over the top like with If We Must Die or with Proof Rock. They would have to pick the specific line that they would have to show in a living picture. What about you? I would use this activity as a check for understanding. So they choose a scene and create the tableau vivant and the rest of the class has to guess which scene it is. I think a great follow-up to this activity would be to have students watch film versions of the scenes or look at images of the scenes in performance as other people have done them and then compare their own choices to the way that they are in professional versions. What a great idea. Thanks. Thanks.